Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and uh, I'm back to try to get in some more pouring before we finally pack up and move. Uh, we have a pod coming to the house on the 26th of this month, and by the time you see this video, I might already be in transit to North Carolina. But I just want to keep pouring as long as I can to get to the end of my paints as best as I can. And I'll tell you what, that's been a trick just in itself, trying to plan out a pour run down my paints. I mean, right now I've got this color place and I know you probably can't see, but I have about that much left. Now, what do I do with that much paint? I mean, <laughs> but I have a plan for it and I'm gonna use it with another paint, a gray that you'll see on the base when I get there that I found in the garage. This is the gray that I started with and I repurposed it out of the container because it was rusted. And I'm gonna take it with us because I found it. It's an old paint. We're gonna see how it works. It's an old gray that I lightened up with some of the PPG Multi Pro, and I'm gonna lay that down as my uh, primary base. So we'll see what we get. I got this idea from Winterstrom Art, who laid down a white base and then a black base, a black pillow on top of it, and then she swiped on top of that. So this is the first time I've ever tried something like that, so I'm gonna give it a go. I'll call out the colors as we go. I'll also have them below listed in the description. And I wanted to take a second also to thank the new folks for joining me. And I'm not normally this scatterbrained. <laughs> it's just been tough the last couple months trying to gear up for a move across the country. And um, I hope you can understand. But I appreciate everybody for being here and giving me a look. And let's see what we create today. All right, get you down in a second. So the other part of the equation is that I'm working on all recycled canvases and I don't even know how many times this has been used and it's got little crevices in it from prior pores from either cell activator or so forth. You know, and after several pores, it kind of renders it not very useful. But what I'm going to do is just recycle them and then when I can't use them anymore and I'm ready to move, I will make sure they're dry and toss them because I'm not gonna take them with me. So let me lay down the, uh, this is the gray I'm gonna use. It's kind of a very soft, off-white. Probably could have made it more gray. But we'll see how this goes. Yeah, and I'm still trying to find what my preferred technique is as I keep exploring, as I keep calling it the uh, acrylic pouring buffet of techniques until hopefully I latch onto one that I can start diving deep into. You know, I feel like right now I'm, I'm just kind of sampling things and doing the best I can with what skill set I've got, but eventually I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to find what I really want to dive deep into and get good at it. All right, so let's see. Let's hope I can uh, if I can lay this down good. I feel like seeing Winterstrom's video yesterday was the right time. I seem to have plenty of black. Let's use it all up. You must wonder what kind of neighborhood I live in besides having a school behind my house, but I have a hospital a mile away, so that's why there's always sirens. Do, 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 do. I will fast forward through some of this. All right, everyone, so through this section, I'm gonna double time. It takes a little while to lay the colors down and you can see what I'm doing. So the first color is Prism Pores Violet Rose. And right away, when I started my first little drop, boom, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I thought maybe something was in it, but I don't know what it was. There was nothing in there. So I just keep going.
So the next color here is Amsterdam's Pearl Violet. And obviously, as you can see, I'm not layering them in any kind of fashion. I have pillow paints sneaking through. I'm just kind of splattering the paint down a little bit. Random. Having some sections where the color speaks for itself and having some sections where it folds on top of each other. And this is Aquamarine from Treasure Gold with a little bit of Payne's Gray in it. And I'm really actually having a lot of fun just splattering the paint around a little bit. This is Amsterdam's Greenish Blue, which by the way, I just love that color with a little Payne's Gray. Just, it's just a beautiful color. It goes with almost everything. And then the last color, of course, is Deco Arts 24 Karat Gold. Once again, just drizzling it all around a couple places where it's by itself and then a couple places where it's on top of everything else. So here I'm just laying down some of the cell activator and I've really grown to like placing the cell activator down on a separate card or a plate so that I can dab my palette knife into it and just dab and go. It's much easier. Dropping for bubbles. Got my palette knife, popping a couple bubbles, and we'll be on our way. So I don't think I've mentioned this before, but the uh, about the Australian float trawl, which works like a champ. I thought to myself when I first started last year, oh my gosh, it's so expensive, but you know, I still have over half of a liter of it still um, a year later. So it goes a long way, needless to say. So for those of those, those of the people out there that are contemplating whether or not to get it because of the expense, you know what, just go ahead and do it. It's worth it. And the last time, a little bit of black cell activator dripped into the white, and I'm deliberately dipping into it this time, just for something fun. I will say, I feel like I'm getting the hang of the swipes now. It's taken a while, but you know what? With practice does come learning. So, yeah, got to keep practicing, everybody. And right there, I don't know if you noticed, I did switch my palette knives to my little tiny guy that I'm just filling in little gaps in there. What I mentioned right there in the normal video was I wanted to get some white on the edges of the entire composition before I start to spin it out. So because I'm not sure how far that black p pillow is going to go, because I really, the, in the end, I want to have the black covering the entire white base, I start to scoop and drag it a little bit just to spread it out some.
So I'm going to skip ahead here because I'm just putting stuff away and going to get up my little corrugated fence before the spin out. So here I'm just spreading the gray base or pillow to the edges as best as I can before the spin. So I definitely had enough black pillow, which is great because it covered all the way to the edges. And I'm so glad I went with the white cell activator around the edges of the composition because as it turns out, the white becomes almost like a frame, which is really neat. Here I'm just going around the perimeter of the canvas, the bottom, just making sure I get all the extra drips off so it stops the composition from pulling down the sides. So here I'm just taking a toothpick to where some of the pillow poked through, where it looks like little white spots or gray spots. If you poke it with a toothpick and dab it just slightly, the surrounding color will cover over that white mark. This is really pretty cool, if I say so myself. I'm really happy with this. And just messing around? I must be learning how to swipe and my cell activator is working right. Okay, I'll get you down for a close-up in a minute.